Hey yo, what's up everyone? Pase Bora here. Today's uh, March 13, 2023. So we got seven games for today. We will cover all that. Uh, I apologize for those who uh, waited and for those who actually sent me messages last night. I actually took some time off last night because it was a Sunday um, and it was a long and tiring week. You know, there were a lot of stuff going on. But again, anyway, today's Monday and we will be covering all those games. Now to kick things off, we will be talking about the game between Indiana Pacers and Detroit Pistons. And that will happen at around 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And by the way, the spread that is given is minus 4.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, the Indiana Pacers. And let's take a look at the standings and the rankings first of these two teams. Both belong to the Eastern Conference. Indiana Pacers, they are at number 11 uh, with a record of 31 wins and 37 losses. Man, they're just half a game behind uh, the number 10 team, which is Chicago Bulls. So I'm pretty sure that Indiana Pacers would really, you know, would really push for this game and for the, you know, for the following days to come. And in Detroit Pistons, they are at number 15. We all know that they don't have any chance. And they didn't have any chance even, you know, a month back. Um, they got a record of 15 wins and 53 losses. Right, so Detroit Pistons, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams uh, are coming off rest day, so we can just skip that part. Momentum, uh, momentum wise, we got to give it to Indiana Pacers because approaching this game, they are coming off back to back wins. While Detroit Pistons, they are on an 11 game losing slump. Wow. Talk about tanking, yeah? Um, so again, we got to give it to Indiana Pacers. If you guys would want to check on the form, obviously Indiana Pacers would have the lead as well because they have won 6 out of their last 10, really pushing hard to make it to the top 10. While Detroit Pistons, they have lost their last, again, they have lost their last 11. Let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Now, this is crazy because both teams are actually depleted. Let's talk about Indiana Pacers first. Well, um, those who are out would be Halliburton, Matherin, TJ McConnell, and uh, Miles Turner. Um, and then Buddy Heald is actually listed as uh, questionable for this game. So again, we got th one, two, three, four players confirmed out. And those are scorers, good scorers. Um, and Buddy Heald is actually listed as questionable. That's for Indiana Pacers. Now for Detroit, we got Bagley. Bogdanovich, Burks, um, Hamidou Diallo, hold up, hold up, Hamidou Diallo, uh, Ivy, and Stewart all confirmed out for this game. So that's a total of three, six players out for Detroit. <laughs> now, both, just like what I said, both are actually depleted. It's just that Indiana Pacers would have um, like a couple, a couple more players available. So... This one's going to be tough. You know, this one's going to be, um, it's not as easy as it seems to be. Um, we all know that Indiana Pacers obviously is the better team. Matter of fact, they even have a chance to make it uh, to the, you know, to the top 10 still. And Detroit Pistons, uh, they are the, the, the last team in the East. But because of the situation that both teams got, <laughs> um, it's just so tough. You know, it's just so tough. 4.5 is not easy to cover if you don't have your scores I know obviously I'm talking about Indiana Pacers you know I'm um, Indiana Pacers is the better team we all know that um, plus Detroit Pistons uh, they don't have their you know they don't have their starting fire they don't have their uh, stars so I feel like Indiana Pacers should win this one and would win this one I'm not just sure if they would be able to cover the spread um, I really don't know uh, I gotta be honest I'm not gonna be putting money on this on this game but of course, we got to make some prediction. Uh, now, in, this, in in these cases, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a better team. You know, I understand that. You know, they got. You know, I'm gonna go with a better team, and not only that, I'm gonna go with a team which needs it more. You know, Indiana Pacers are just like what I said earlier. They are half a game behind uh, the Chicago Bulls, uh, which are at number ten. So they need this. You know, they need this uh, game so that they can keep at pace with Chicago. Um, well, Detroit Pistons, you know, they're basically just trying to figure out uh, which combinations would be good for them, you know. And they are basically trying to uh, set Wiseman and, you know, expose him more, trying to make him improve. 
But again, Indiana Pacers, they have a mission. Buddy Heald is unquestionable status, so there's still that possibility of him playing. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna side with Indiana Pacers with a minus 4.5 on it. But then again, I'm not that comfortable. Uh, I'm not gonna put money on this, but um, because I need to I need to choose. You know, uh, we're actually down here uh, uh, giving predictions. I'm gonna side with Indiana Pacers with minus 4.5. Again, that's Pacers minus 4.5. Peace out, Pasay love, and God bless.